You're probably expecting me to fly in a rant, to go, oh my god, this law is terrible. Oh my god, do the Democrats know how to do anything else besides censorship and restricting freedoms? Uh, but no, I'm not going to do that. In fact, this law isn't really that bad if you actually read it and you don't just listen to the mainstream media or look at what other YouTubers have to say. I'm not like the other YouTubers, by the way. I'm special. Uh, but if you read the law, it talks about preventing children, so minors, from being exposed to video games that have carjackings in it. So games like Mafia, GTA, those type of games that minors shouldn't even have access to. Because they're meant for a mature audience. That's why the ESRB is a thing. I can't think of a single game that has carjacking in it. But at the same time, does it also has violence? So I guess this is up to you whether you think or not that minors should be able to play violent video games or watch violent movies or listen to rap music that glorifies gangster culture. But you know, like it doesn't mean that these laws need to make sense or be applied consistently throughout society. No, that's not what pisses me off, by the way. What pisses me off is that this yet again is the lawmakers spitting on a burning building and saying that they've done their job because you have to ask what is their job at the end of the day besides begging you for a vote every four years clearly their job must be to gorge themselves on the taxpayer money to become millionaires by taking money from you from taxes and that's it you get to sit down and shut the fuck up okay but unfortunately some other people in society think that lawmakers do have a responsibility and one of those responsibilities is to keep the cities running to uh, make sure that the roads aren't filled with holes so you don't bust your car as you drive to work to heaven forbid manage to keep the city in a clean and friendly way so Less crime in the city if it's not too much to ask, okay? But that's a difficult thing to accomplish. That is a difficult thing, especially when a lot of lawmakers are trying to get the more nefarious people in society, the underbelly, and they're trying to get their vote so that they can win. Because at the end of the day, even criminals get to vote, right? So if you appeal to those types of people, then, well, all of a sudden, uh, you manage to get elected. So... What the lawmakers try to do is that they look at a city that they've already fucked up and it's got a lot of crime in it and people don't like it because now it's difficult to have a business in places that are high crime areas and now people ha are unemployed, the unemployment is rising, less taxes to be paid, more garbage, okay? Like everything is interconnected, it's intersectional if you will. Intersectional, it's interconnected, right? So, so when you start... Uh, not caring about the criminal element and you pretend it doesn't exist, that doesn't change reality, okay? Crime still fucking happens. And if you are going to be a leftist and you're more concerned about uh, censoring people's speech and what flaps out of their mouth, people can still do the crimes while shutting the fuck up. So you're not going to cancel them because they're not saying anything while they're robbing you now, are they? So what ends up happening is that when you're a politician and you have people looking up to you for guidance and wisdom, it's like, what the fuck is happening to our city? You go like, you know what? We're going to solve the situation. We're going to fix it. We're going to make sure that we take this issue seriously. Video games are the problem, all right? Like, that, that is why crime is happening. Video games are the problem. Because with video games, they can actually legislate it. And they're not going to lose any votes, all right? No one is going to get upset. No one gives a shit. I mean, the people who can't buy the video games can't vote for the politician. Because I'm telling you what, if little Billy would be able to vote for the politician, then little Billy wouldn't have his game taken away now, would he? No, he would probably get a tax cut so he can buy the games cheaper so they can vote for that politician. That's what would happen. So they look at the video games and they're like, okay, well, if we, if we ban these games, then it gives the illusion that we actually care about the problem without fixing it. It's like literally how I said in the beginning. They look at a burning building, they go, <laughs> and that's it, they did their job. It doesn't matter that the building is still burning, all right? No, but they did their job. They, like, they put the effort, all right? That's what it matters. Like for the public to see that they've put some effort into fixing a situation. And by the way, this is not a leftist thing, like the right used to do it. The right used to do it all the freaking time back in the day. You know, the, the same thing. It's like, okay, crime is happening in the city, who's to blame? Video games. Mass shootings are happening, who's to blame? Video games. Because at the end of the day, they're not fixing anything, all right? But, but they move the conversation in another sphere that doesn't really affect the politician's image. It doesn't affect what the politician is doing. It's like, okay, talk about this 
while we focus on something else. Just, just like, shh, 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 you know, ha throw a bone so that the conversation can be about something else. That's what they are doing. And it's kind of funny because I remember when Trump did literally the same thing. Like a lot of people ask me, it's like, V, why aren't you condemning Trump for uh, looking into violent video games? That was like, I think two years ago, you know, like he had the White House and they show some footage of Doom and, and other ridiculous stuff. And Trump was like, oh, yes, video games, bad, 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 blah, 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 blah. Um, here, here's the thing, okay? How is the left not viewing the exact same thing? And I'm not talking about GTA here, all right? Like, the left, and when I say the left, I just want to make it sure, like, people who hate art and want to censor it. That, that, those are the ones that I'm talking about. And I'm usually talking about the people that have the power to do so, like video game journalists that can gatekeep corporations, uh, people who work within the corporations of the video games. Like, th those are the people I'm referring right now. And they are saying that it's a problem because video games have sexism. Like, have you heard this before? Does it ring a bell? Video games have sexism, and because of that, it causes people to be sexist, okay? Or video games are racist, and that's a problem. So if you look at it, what, what does this mean? I, what, what, what do they want to say? Well, why, why is sexism a problem? Because if they believe that a person who plays sexist video games becomes a sexist, then the issue is that the sexist can do violence against women, okay? If a person that plays, I don't know, a racist video game, whatever the fuck that looks like, because I, I haven't seen any, but okay. If they play that, I guess maybe like Attack on Titan, the video game, maybe that's what they're talking about. Okay, if they play Attack on Titan, all right, they, they start believing that the LDS didn't do anything. And, all right, uh, so... Well, the, the main issue is that if you become a racist, then you do violence, right? So the left also believes that video games lead to violence. It's just like additional steps. Meanwhile, a dumbass like Trump probably believes that, okay, someone sees violence in a video game, reproduces that in real life. Okay, like that, that, that is the difference between the left and the right. But like, the, they both agree that the art needs to be censored in order to protect society. Of course, not all right-wingers, not all left-leaning people, but like, again, like you, you can look at it, and I'm telling you this, like at least people on the left are far more effective at that shit, because you look at certain video games, and, and they change their art style, they change their box art, they change in order to please the censors. I mean, look at Mortal Kombat, for an example, okay? Mortal Kombat is one of the games that you can play as the father, okay? You are the father, like Jackson Briggs. He is the father of Jackie. And you can brutally murder her in the video, like decapitation, you know, like oh, the, the, the worst stuff, like absolute gruesome shit that I can't even show on YouTube, okay? But anyone who plays Mortal Kombat knows what I'm talking about. That game is beyond fucked up if you spend more than two seconds to think about it. However, the problem is with the titty, okay? Like the problem is that women had boobs and that's unrealistic. So, so they censored, like the developer self-censored. You have artists who worked at Netherlands Coming up and saying, yeah, I wanted to give boobs to this character, but like the corporate say no. Like the corporation, no. Okay, so it doesn't make any logical sense. But the reason they do this, the reason it's done is so that activists who, who champion women's rights or whatever the fuck, they can say, well, we did something. Okay, we changed society. We changed this game. We changed society. Now give us money. Give us donation. Pay us. Give us cash, please. Just, just give us your money so we can keep doing this. Because by censoring Mortal Kombat, now the world is a safer place. And that is it. It's the eternal fucking grift. Okay, do you know who suffers? The consumer suffers, like people who enjoyed the franchise before. The game development companies might suffer by selling less titles. Um, the game development uh, companies might suffer because now they spend extra money in order to hire a, a commissar, someone that's on behalf of the activist or the ideologue, in order to make sure that their company is sanitized. And you can't really accuse them, them of being sexist because they'll be like, well, we can't be sexist because like, we have this uh, feminist consultant in our company that we pay a six-figure salary, and, and they make absolutely sure that everything we do is fine. So, so you can't attack them anymore because of that because now they got like a license to show that they're not sexist. Um, and, and that's it, you know, like the only, the, the only people benefiting are the grifters, okay? The politicians benefit because they move the problem somewhere else, that where they don't really have to fix it, they don't really have to find solutions. The activists benefit by getting donations. And that's all I had to say about that.
Now, if you like this channel and you want to support it, I, I understand, you know, you don't, you don't really have money to donate because uh, at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not like the activist, right? I, I don't manage to censor art in order to show how important I am. So what you can do instead is that you can give a thumbs up or you can subscribe. Believe it or not, it actually does help a lot. Uh, the YouTube algorithm cares about these things. I personally don't care about these things, but if the YouTube algorithm cares, I care, and I'm asking for you to care as well. Give a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment section, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.